Hello and welcome back. In this video, what we're going to do is create uh, our users and user sessions table in our database uh, so that we can begin to build our registration and um, our registration and login system. So uh, this will be a quick, easy video, but let's go ahead and go into uh, PHP MyAdmin. Uh, so if you haven't done that yet, it's just localhost uh, forward slash PHP MyAdmin. And then what you're going to do is select your database that we've set up, and we're going to select new for a new table. Uh, we're going to call this table users. Uh, make sure that's plural. And then I'm going to add a few more columns to this. Um, let's add three more. Okay. And the first one is going to be uh, ID, and then we're going to set that to auto increment, and it's going to be our primary uh, key. For this table. So then we're going to have a username and we're going to set that to a var car. Oops. And we'll set that to a limit of 150. And then we'll do email. We'll also do that with a limit of 150 and a var car. And then let's do password. It's going to be a variable character as well, and we'll do a limit of 150 on that. And then let's do F name for first name, and we will just follow right along with the same pattern here of 150. Probably don't need that much for first name, but we don't want anything getting truncated. All right, and then the last one that we're going to do is ACL. Um, and so later, what we're going to do is we're going to build. Uh, and access ACL stands for access control levels. So we're going to build uh, an ACL system into this, um, so that we can control what people can see. Um, so I'm going to set that as a text field because we're probably going to use some sort of JSON string or something in there for uh, to add multiple uh, ACLs for each person. Uh, that could be handled in a separate table uh, rather than doing a JSON text there, but. Um, for simplicity right now, let's just go ahead and leave the text field. I don't really think that's just basically going to be an override type thing um, unless you do a lot more like permission uh, levels and access levels and things like that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and click save. And that is going to be our users table. Now let's create one more table. We're going to call this our user sessions table. So user sessions and we're just going to need four columns in this so the first one again is going to be our primary key of ID and it's going to auto increment make sure you have that auto increment set and then we need a user ID which will be an integer and we need a session and that is going to be our car 255 and then we also want a user agent and that will be a bar car 255 as well. What this is going to do is store uh, cookie information. Well, it's going to store user sessions. So if they click on like remember me, we're going to store a hash uh, in this table that will be stored as a cookie on the client's end. And when they visit the site, if they have that cookie, it will find their user ID uh, in this table and it will do a little bit of checking on their user agent to make sure it hasn't been spoofed or you know their cookie hasn't been stolen and then it will log them in so that's the reason we have this table alright so we have our two tables now and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and stop this video here and in the next video we're gonna go ahead and build our controller and our uh, login views and actions so I will see you in the next video.